<laughs> God. I swear to God, these cleaners are just getting lazier and lazier. Oh. That makes sense. Greetings and salutations, you beautiful people. Welcome to Max Payne. We finished off Crashed Wind Sanity with that anticlimactic bonus video. Like, oh my god, I don't know what the hell that's about. We'll get started on the tutorial. I know I could quickly jump into the new game, but figured for people who haven't played Max Payne before, this can at least get you a little familiar with the control scheme. I know, I know, I could just explain the controls as I'm going through the levels, but honestly, I liked the tutorial in this. Anyway, so it's... Plus, as the game itself states, it's a short tutorial on how to play Max Payne. So, it'll take, what, like five minutes in total? Yeah, thank you. It's honestly just explaining how the control scheme works. And also just the fact you can use a lead pipe to just whack things. If you're wondering how I'm changing getting the little weapon wheel of sorts up so quickly, with configuration 2, it'll depend on which configuration you have. You can either press triangle, which as I'm doing now, and as the game shows. Yeah, so either the... Either use just triangle to select the next weapon, or use the, in my case, the left analog stick. Well, that's if you're doing it on the PlayStation 2. This game also came out on the Xbox, so... Obviously, the control scheme will be different on which console you play it on. Well, the game can this game came out back in 2001 on the PlayStation 2, the Xbox, and also the PC. And I'm pretty sure this was the first game to introduce, like, bullet time, so... Essentially slow motion. The bullet time or shoot dodge. If you're standing still, shoot dodge and bullet time... It looks the exact same. In my case, just L1 to jump. If you press the jump button while you're moving in a direction, forward, Max, which is our trench coat wearing hero, or vigilante, he will just jump forward. But if you press jump when you're rolling left, right, or moving backwards, our man over here, yeah, our man of the hour, will just perform rolls, so, not bread rolls, not bun rolls, just movement rolls. I wish there was a way to actually get bread rolls in the game, but we cannot, so in the meantime, you know, yeah, let's do that. That, and we'll just shoot this sucker right in the head. Now there's an enemy right up here, he's gonna die courtesy of a... Shoot. Dodge. And as you kill enemies, you will get some ammo, so... Occasionally, you will get that sort of camera effect from enemies you kill, and... Okay, before we do that, I want to get rid of the bloody police siren blaring so much there. Shut up. Thank you. That's all we wanted. No more bloody police sirens blaring. Okay, fine. Looks like you can't do the tutorial out of order. Just have to do it as it intends. Which in this case... They just have us... Going into the subway to get some painkillers. Okay, we're not going to search the police van just yet. Instead, we are going to jump up here. Because... The game actually has... Like secret rooms and easter eggs as well as references scattered throughout the game. This is an example of one of them. We found a secret room. There's going to be plenty of these throughout the game and I'm going to try and find as many as I can. There may be some that I cannot find for whatever reason, but that's okay. I'd like to get out first. So we don't have a police siren going off, instead we have an alarm. Which isn't as bad, so I can deal with it. Okay, now we will search the police van. Which will give us a sniper rifle, as well as some ammo. 
wants us to do that, which is fine. Yeah, I know, they're coming from the side alley. Over there? You can actually use... Yeah, you can actually use bullet time in conjunction with the sniper. But unfortunately, it has the... The blur going off, which is okay. We missed. We'll do that. There we go. Done. Done, I said. Thank you. Well, if you wanted to just... Practice how to, yeah, practice the shooting and all that. You can just reload the dispenser and more enemies will come out. But in this case, we are going to actually start the main game. Now, this says press start to return to the main menu. Ignore it. Well, actually, we'll show off what happens. It just gives you a 360 camera angle of the character model for Max Payne. To actually get back to the main menu, in our case, we have to press select. Resume game will just go back into where you are. In this case, it'll just take us back to the tutorial. Like, I don't know about you, but I would actually like to start the new game. When you first load up Max Payne, all you will be able to do is play the game on Fugitive. Now, the game does have a self-adjusting difficulty feature implemented, which I think is freaking fantastic. The annoying thing about it, though, is the only way to unlock the next or the other difficulty levels. Well, New York Minute is actually more of a time trial type of thing. Hard Boiled and Dead on Arrival are the other two difficulty men modes. Fugitive is basically like easy to normal. I'd say hard world is hard mode and dead on arrival would be like very hard or expert or like Dante must die mode from the Devil May Cry series. So in this case we can only do fugitive so let us begin. Yeah I only chose to do this because I remember hearing back in April the announcement that there's going to be a remake of both Max Payne 1 and 2. So I figured, I may as well try to bring those games onto the channel before the remake comes out. And well, since Crash to Insanity is finished, now's a good time as any. Well, and plus the story, it's... I... The writing and the voice acting is fantastic. It's honestly... This is easily one... 1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 for dispatcher, verify address. That's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress in Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Oh hell, it's one of my favorite games of all time anyway, so I'm excited. Shot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. Yeah, each game is split up into th separate parts. There's only three parts in the entire game, but each part has about eight to nine chapters. And in each of those chapters, there's like sub-chapters. So it's a decently length game. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See you, Alex. We're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby.
Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. I love how the cutscenes are split up like a comic book. It's honestly like a noir style. What the hell? Funny hell. Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe. A magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Well, there's going to be a lot of reference to Norse mythology throughout like, scattered throughout the game anyway, so... Well, you'll see in this upcoming cutscene what we're talking about. At least I believe it's this cutscene. I know it's one of the cutscenes coming up that explains it. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Okay, so it wasn't this cutscene. I know it's one of the upcoming cutscenes that sort of gives you a rough understanding on, like, what I'm talking about when I was saying Norse mythology and things of that nature anyway, but oh no. This section always... not scares me. It always creeps me out. Michelle! The annoying thing about it is... Ah! You dicks! No! God! What father ever wants to see this? Like this? Well, not the wallpaper, that's fine, but who... What parent ever wants to see this or... This. And the of fallen angels. Flesh of fallen angels. Bloody hell, that's going to be a common theme throughout this whole game. The fact... Listen to the music. And just how the room looks. Oh, it's creepy. Oh, and I forgot to mention. In the, in the corner just before the... Next room, you will find a baseball bat. A lot of people tend to miss it. So, I just felt like pointing that out. You bastard, how dare you? I love the screams they make. <laughs> no, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Fuck's sake, our wife, our kid, both murdered. Why? Who's the sick fuck who gets a thrill out of this? What the hell? Honestly. No! My point exactly. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. Killer junkies have been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. There we go, you see Valkyr. So it took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Far out, a three-year case, on, or ongoing case, good god. Imagine just not being able to get a break or find any clues in three years' time. I'm pretty sure if you're an 
I'm pretty sure you would more than likely have just dropped the case as, well, there's no circumstantial evidence being found or any major breakthroughs until like two months ago. Like, I'd hate trying, just going to dead ends, trying to find any type of clues. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. Crazy how the game essentially just takes place over two nights. And you'll see the image. in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Yeah, and the game takes place over two nights, but you'll be able to see all the carnage that will occur within those two nights. I thought we could go through there, apparently not. Well, it doesn't really matter anyway. I know there's a room you can go down. Ah, oh, who the hell cares? Let's go in here, see what's going on. What the hell, man? These. I swear to god, these cleaners are just getting lazier and lazier. Oh. That makes sense. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. No, oh, well, an interesting link. Huh. I wonder what that is. Good, give me all the Beretta ammo you can. Actually, just give me all the ammo you Bills can. Hold the pain back for a while. I reckon make sure you look in every locker, every closet. Just look around everywhere that you can. You'll find Wasn't plenty of ammo. To take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much fun taking care of the cop up there. Oh, well, what's the plan? Simple. Gun down every mother-loving bastard that gets off the train. Sweet. Didn't the train go already? No idea. Let's just wait and see. Hold it. Why not? Yeah, occasionally you... Occasionally, there may be instances where an enemy is, like, shooting you from that direction, and you're facing that direction, and somehow you still kill them. I don't know how the hell that works, but it just does. I don't quite understand it, but it is what it is. Yeah. He's dead, all right. Hey, it's me you're talking to. Yeah, we will go with the Desert Eagle for this. You see, watch. Never mind. Well, at least I'm getting ammo, so that's good. Give me... Is that all the ammo? Oh, you... Good for nothing, mate. Getting around, you hear me? Can I time this. Yes. <laughs> I feel bad for the guy because he's just waiting for his friends, but oh well, he's dead, so let us continue our merry way. We're going. Oh no, that's actually not that. We're going to see a lot of these markings around in. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of these markings all around Roscoe Street Station for a little while. That's only because we're going to be in here for about another chapter. Anything there? Thank you. Give me the shotgun. Anything there? I guess not. Alright, let's continue our merry way and... Progress onto the next part of chapter one. Max, you stopped being subtle 
since we started the chapter. Well, if you've ever wanted to know, well, figure out how do I write a noir type of comic with a wisecracking, sarcastic hero, just use Max Payne as a template and then mod and then just modify it as you see fit. Here, ask it for it. Take it easy. Damn. That was a beautiful shot. <laughs> what was that? There we go. Ah, Jesus! We're looking for Alex, they had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. Yeah, not really what I wanted right now. Okay, before we actually. I. I know we can get in here! <laughs> Forget it. Anyway, before we actually continue through one of the rooms, make sure you head to the back of the train so we can find some Beretta ammo. We've done that, so we'll make our way back to the platforms. Head into this room, so we have to, not only, so we... That. <laughs> you saved me, man. What's going on here? I'm trying to I'm save you, mate. I'm trying to get ammo. Nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control you move? one floor up. Can you take Thank me you. there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Yeah, well, before doing anything, I'm going to try and find all the ammo I can. Come along, Ricky. Let's see you get to the control room and please don't die. I feel like you're going to. Any bet there's going to be goons in the control room ready to shoot anyone in anything. Hold it. Ricky! Aw, I only knew you for about two minutes, but you were the best friend a guy could ever have. You're... I will read your rights at the funeral. I know there's someone there. This is a slight... It's not super difficult or anything. I didn't want to do that. I want to do... There we go. I was like, why am I not hitting anyone? I guess for this, they want us to use the Beretta. So I guess that's what we will do. Well, we can't go through there, so we will go through here. Is there any other buttons we can press? No, no. I guess that's the only one. Well, we may as well pick up more painkillers. The train lit up like a Christmas tree. Power was back on. Come on, you got it, line two. Alright, let's continue on. Now, for this series, I plan on trying to make it that I'll look for every secret, every reference that's around. And I know... F I know there's a secret in that room that I was trying to access just before. Like, down here... I guess you can't, so... Oh, well, never mind. We'll do that. And we'll just start moving the train along. So much for being subtle. Oh, Mac, you stopped being subtle way earlier. I was going to say... There we go. I was like, where, oh, where is my ammo? Okay, we keep getting more shotgun ammo, so let's just continue with the shotgun.
The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down at Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. Now let's make our way through Roscoe Street, Roscoe Street Station and see what big conspiracy of sorts Max is going to encounter. Well, I stumble sure. upon. Yeah, really. sure. There we go. I guess they just have Desert Eagle, so we may as well just go through. Thank you. God, even after getting blasted by a shotgun blast. Well, we have six painkillers, so I feel we're going to be fine. You can either walk along the piping here or just walk in the water. It doesn't make a difference like which... Lupino. Now that's spooky. Jack Lapino, yeah, spooky. But also, it's like the failure count is rising. Yeah, I wouldn't joke about it if I was you. Yeah. The station's not secured. Someone decided to play hero upstairs. That's all we need. Occasionally, there's going to be those sort of conversations you will hear throughout the game. Can I get up there? Well, I Hi! Thank you! You know what? We're going with the shotgun. Oh, the shotgun's a much better gun, anyway. Okay, first I'm gonna break open these box... Occasionally these crates will have boxes if I can actually hit it, thank you. Okay, we've done that, so now we're just gonna go with the shotgun. Good question, Max. What the hell was that? Oh wow, that's a that was a very short segment. So live from the crime scene. Oh god, any bet somehow we are gonna be blamed for everything that's going on down here. Damn it! That's not what I want! Anyone? Nope. There we go. Can we open? The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. I guess we have to get the detonator from all the way down here. There's a lot of rats. Alright, let's go through. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest are gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. We've got our own private exit route. In and out, do your thing. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Who the hell says wham bam, thank you, ma'am, nowadays? Okay, seriously, who the hell even says wham bam, thank you, ma'am, nowadays? <laughs> I never hear anyone say that. Really? Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. What? But the game really is a product of its time. Because I think that was such a saying in 2001. Yeah, look, you clown... Look, some clown sh killed my wife while being high on B, so I'm going to kill all you... Sons of bitches right here. Okay, before we even think of doing the phone call, we are going to actually go through each room. One of the vaults will have the de Yeah, one of the vaults will have the detonator, another will actually have some documents which will actually be help with the story. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Keep that in mind, for later in the game. 
Okay, not yet. We have to go into Vault A. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. For that, now we will answer the phone. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. God sakes, Max, you bloody smartass. Anyway, we found the detonators, so let's quick... Okay, there's full Beretta ammo. Let's just go out in the blaze of glory with a bunch of Beretta bullets raining down from above. Ain't no one there. There's gotta be some Malakas coming. Oh god, you're all dead. Instantly. Anyway, we've done that, so let us plant the detonators. Blow up that door. And just get back to the actual station. You almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, am I glad to see you? What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight through the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! Man! He was our only friend in the DEA. There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty accusing stare of his eyes. Well, that sucks. But anyway... I feel that's actually a good enough cliffhanger to end the video on. So, if you're looking forward to the rest of the Max Payne series and... Seeing us try to avenge our fallen comrade. Make sure you like the video and just do everything else. There'll be like a little thing popping up on what to do. So just make sure you do that. It helps me out. It helps the channel out. And it'll let YouTube know that. Hey people actually like this series and like the channel. So make sure you spread it. But aside from all that. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Join and I shall see you all next time. But first doing all that. We are going to kill these three goons. I'm going to have some bloody noise going on outside and i shall see you all next time i'll see you all soon